Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to High School Sports 2000. This is Jim Sainsbury. We're at Geneseo this evening to bring you the matchup between the Alleman team and also the Geneseo Maple Leafs. It's going to be a good one here this evening. Glad to have you with you. And I tell you what, this is quite an atmosphere. My first time out here, and it's just unbelievable. I thought it was homecoming, and nope, it's not. It's not even a regular game. So let's see what happens here as both teams come out onto the field for the first kickoff of the evening. Well, the band is just making their way off of the field at this time, so it gives us a little time to talk about uh, what's going on here right now. Geneseo Maple Leafs are 2-0 and early in this season, and the Elliman Pioneers are 1-1, one one, dropping a tough loss last weekend to the Dixon team. And so we're getting ready to go, and let's see what happens here. Back deep. Quick wire to kick off for Geneseo. As we get ready to go here for the kickoff tonight's first game. And it's a rather short one. It's going to be taken by, it looks like, the 21. He fumbles around a little bit. And he'll be taken down. Mike Wood with the return and tackled by a host of Geneseo players. Well, first and 10 for the Alleman Pioneers. First series Justin of Justin the evening. Wood on the return. Kyle, oh, check that. It'll be Ryan Jones at first quarterback. And 10 for the Pioneers at their own 26 yard line. And we had a change in quarterback before the start. So here we go once again. Well, first play out of the game. It's handed off to Joe Puentes. Or check that. Ty Terry Ford also a change. And Terry Four Ford with carrier. about a four-yard gain. The tackle for the ball carrier. So Terry Ford with the first Dallas. carry Dallas out of the game. Lights on, Illinois plate, 719-AWM. 719 AWM. Your lights are on. Corey Rothrock is the quarterback, and that was a switch prior to the game starting, and he is going to be mauled, it looks like, for, well, a four yard loss. And so a tough break there for Corey Rothrock Curtis as he got tackle tackled by a host of Geneseo players. Langer, the ball carrier. So it'll be third down and nine yards to go here for the Alleman Pioneers. And let's see what happens. Well, they got two tight ends there, and so it's kind of surprising if he doesn't get rid of the ball, it's caught by Nick Armetta. Armetta has got a first down as he crosses the 43 yard line. So first down and 10 for the Pioneers early here in tonight's contest. 10.40 to go here in the first quarter and the very first down of tonight's contest. So Geneseo is a division four team for 4A team and the Pioneers are division 4A as well. So a pretty good contest here right now. It looks like our meta once again with the ball stopped immediately. And I didn't catch the number on that. Or check that it was Parentes. Or check that it was all. It was the all. Uh, the. Our matter with the carry. Parentes with the tackle. I'll get this straight. Trying to get these teams down first time here, so we'll get her straight before this first half is over. Well, Corey Rothrock comes up underneath the center once again. He's going to pass it. Just gets rid of it. Gets it and complete to the 88. Or is it Jake Steele, the 84? Looks like Jake Steele, the 84, with a catch. Read on the tackle for Geneseo. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess it was the 88. So my starting lineup got a little bit changed around here. And we don't even have a name on the 88 for the Pioneers. So we'll try to have to find that out. Unless they change jerseys in between times. So let's see what happens here as they got a first down and 10 at about the 46 yard line. And Geneseo not used to being moved on at all uh, so far this season, as this is one of the hotbeds of football here around the Quad Cities area. Four time state champions, the uh, Geneseo Maple Leafs. But right now, it is all 
Pioneers as they continue to move the ball. Second down and seven in the first series. So Corey Rothrock once again comes underneath center, looks over the defense. It's a pitch out to oh, Armetta, and Armetta met and brought down immediately by the 37 of Joe Curran. Joe Curran, a senior a linebacker. It's a loss on the play of three third yards. That'll bring out third yard and 13 yards to go here early still in the first quarter. Well, the gentleman seal Maple Leafs are in uh, green and gold. Reminds me of the Green Bay Packers a little bit. And the Almond Pioneers in white with green pants. So let's see what happened. Long ways to go. Armetta goes into motion. He steps back and he is going to be buried back there. Unbelievable defense. Corey Rothrock had nowhere to go. As Jake Stahl came in there with a hard rush and buried him back there for an additional, well, let's see, let's see, fourth down and a whole group here. So the Pioneer Stahl in their first series there will have to punt the ball away and going back to kick it away is 34. And that is Nick Armetta. So Nick Armetta does, I suppose, triple duty for this team, it looks like. The punt's away and it's a pretty good one, it's high. And well, check that. I guess it's not as good as I thought it was. It's going to come down at about the 31, 32 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Geneseo Maple Leafs. We'll take a short break and be back with you. As we get ready to go for the first snap of the evening for the Geneseo Maple Leafs. And it's given off to. Joe Fuentes, and he breaks it. He's down to the 40, to the 30, to inside the 30, to the 26-yard line. Well, they said he was a good one, and indeed, he sure looks like it. The 40 of Joe Fuentes, senior for the Maple Leafs. There is a flag down, however. As the officials try to discuss it here, it looks like it might be against the Almond squad as their preliminary was pointing that direction, but however, we don't know that at this time, but what a run by Joe Fuentes as he took it and broke a couple tackles and looked like it was gonna be gone. It's a clip by the Geno CEO Leafs, so that's gonna march him back. And now they'll have first and I think 25. Well, let's see where the clip was before I go ahead and say that. I don't know if it's from the point of the clip. Indeed it was, it was a little bit farther down, so it'll still be a first down, but it'll lose about 15 yards. So it'll be first and 10 at the 49, it looks like, or 48. For the Maple Leafs at their own 48 yard line. So that the Pioneers are gonna have to really stiffen up on their tackles here. I think now they know that they're in for a ball game. Once again, Kyle Reed comes underneath center. He pitches it out to Jared Putman, he makes the corners, five yards, six yards, almost a first down. I think it'd be just a tad bit short of a first down unless that extra step got him that first down, but it looks like he's gonna be about a half a yard short. And so a good run for Jared Putman. And Crosser with the tackle, it looks like. as I'll have to try to get that defensive line a little bit more for you as the time goes on. We didn't get a chance to get that done prior to the program starting. That time it was given off to 35 of Josh Rowald and he makes it only about a yard or two. Turn him about there. Forward on the tackle. So, First and 10 for the Maple Leafs. First and 10 for the Maple Leafs. As he only needed about a half a yard, they got that and a little bit more. So inside of the 40 at about the 39, let's call it the 39. And right away they're moving here in the first quarter. Kyle Reed under center once again. And it's give, ooh, and immediately taken down. Well, I didn't catch the number, it looks like the 31. Reddick on the 
or the 21, and I don't have a name on that young man, so we'll have to try to get that for you. 22 of Jared Putman, it looks like, might have been the ball carrier. So loss of two, it'll be second down and 12 here, still early in the first corner, 542 mark. As they are about the same area that the Pioneers were when they stalled, so let's see if the Maple Leafs are able to move it any further. And he, well, great carry there, I'll tell you what. Second effort that really got him those extra yards because he was stopped behind the line, the 22 of Jared Pupman once again. So Jared Pupman, very strong. He doesn't give up on the first hit, drives those legs, and that's why he gets those extra yards. Third down, six yards to go. Third and six, it looks like. As you probably can hear the PA announcer here, so if I make a mistake, he'll certainly make up for it. <laughs> Well, Kyle Reed, will this be his first pass of the evening? Well, we're gonna find out. As looks like the defense jumped. Flag on the play. It looks like John Carton jumped the number 51 on that. Just wanted to get a little bit better go at that, and unfortunately it cost him five yards, so that'll make it third down and one to go here. A very short one yard for the Maple Leafs. Third down in the yard. Well, we're at J.D. Darnell Field here in Geneseo. I'm glad to have you all with us. And hopefully we'll get some of these names down that we don't have right now, but we'll get them down. As Reed once again comes on the knee center. And it looks like the 37 carrying the ball. And that is Joe Curran with a nice run and he does get the first down, down to the 22 yard line. So Joe Kern looks like with his first carry of the evening and had a good one at that as he gained about seven yards. Ball at the 22 yard line, first and 10, we're inside, well, timeout for the Almond Pioneers. With that, we'll take a short break. Hey, we're sponsored tonight by Quad City Sports Connection, your monthly sports publication. As we're back, getting ready to go first and 10 for the Maple Leafs at about the 22 yard line. Kyle Reed under center. As James Mickley goes into motion, handed off to Fuentes, he's down two inside the 10 yard line. Or check that, just inside the 15, down to about the 11. Pretty close to a first down. So another fine run for Joe Fuentes, the junior, number 40. First and 10 for the Maple Leafs at the Alleman 11 yard line. Beautiful evening here at Geneseo, and I tell you what, this is quite a happening here and it's gonna be a lot more fun as the evening goes on. It's given off to Fuentes once again. He picks up about, looks like about four yards. So it'll be second down and I think they can get a first down. Yes, they can and second down and six yards it looks like. Bowden with the tackle. Yeah, five, second down, five yards to go. Dallas Drummond out wide, number 44. And he'll give it off to Fuentes up the center. And he is down pretty close to a first down. Almost scored, I think he might be about a half a foot short, but that should give him enough for a first down. Fuentes the ball carrier, holding on the tackle. As I think they'll bring the chains out for the first time. I think it'll be the first time this year I've seen the chains being moved. Well, let's see. Official timeout here. And with that, while they're getting that uh, marked off, we'll take another break. We are Family Ties Productions. As they did indeed get the first down, and so it's first and goal. Is it gonna be a quarterback sneak? Well, I didn't see who got it, but it looks like he definitely indeed scored. Touchdown, Tennessee, number 37, Joe Kernan. And that was Joe Kernan with the touchdown, number 37. It was so quick, I didn't even get a number on it. So 6-0 right now for the Geneseo Maple Leafs.
Kyle Wickwire to attempt the point after touchdown, Raspy to hold. Kyle Wickwire attempting the extra point. And a snap a little bit high, but he got it down and up. And good. So it's 7-0 in favor of the Geneseo Maple Leafs here in the first quarter with 3.03 remaining. We're brought to you by Internet Revealed, the Quad Cities Internet Connection. With that, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back with you. For the Pioneers. Wickwire to kick it off. Our meta is deep. Good, pretty good kick here as it comes down at about the 10 yard line. It's taken by the 21 and he's tackled immediately and I didn't get a tag. We'll try to get the name on that young man that carried the ball back as we don't have the number on him. Kukuru and Simpson on the tackle for Tennessee. Wood on the return. Wood, it looks like, and unfortunately we don't have his first name, so again, we'll try to get that, but he did return it. First and 10 for the Pioneers at their own 27 yard line. So at the 27 yard line is first and 10 for the Pioneers. As Ryan Jones takes this ball from center, hands it off. And stopped immediately, it looks like, or actually, uh, it looks like it's going to be a loss. Mates on the tackle for Geneseo. Mates with the, the tackle carrier. from Geneseo. And second down, I think no it's going to be about, play, well, okay, they'll call it no gain officially. So that play didn't work. They'll have to try something different. Still haven't seen a pass yet tonight. Let's see what happens here as Ryan Jones once again comes underneath center. He fakes around and here comes our first pass of the evening. It goes incomplete. To Ryan Trimble as. Pass is incomplete. Jared Putnam on the tackle of the quarterback. Third down. So Ryan Trimble was just too far away for him to be able to get to that ball. But at least we got a pass away. Let's see what happens this time. First series, Corey Rothrock was the quarterback. Now it is Ryan Jones underneath center. As he fades back, he's open and overthrows it. So that'll bring down third, fourth down and 10. As the ball was just a little bit too far wide for another fourth down for the Pioneers. Well, interesting enough, uh, they moved it on the ground the first series, and now the second series they stalled. They maybe they came out passing it. Maybe I gave them a bad idea. But uh, let's see what happens here as two men go back for the punt return. Not a very far back either. Pretty good punt. It's almost blocked, but it's going to be fair caught. Well, you know, he didn't fair catch it. And tackled immediately there at about inside the 50 yard line, at about the 46. So first and 10 for the first Maple Leafs once Leafs again. At the Allman, 48 yard line. Make that the 48 yard line. As this team just loves to run the ball. Kyle Reed once again comes underneath center. James Mickley goes in motion, sets himself. And it's given off to, looks like Josh Rowall, that looks like number 35 with the carry. Turn in the ball carrier. Or check that as Joe Brown Curran, Brown. number 37. So tackled for about a one yard gain. Gain of two, second down, eight yards to go. So second down and eight, I thought he got just one yard. He did indeed get two. As Kyle Reed once again looks over the defense and they're stacking it in there pretty tight for the run. But I tell you, they, in a pitch out, what a great fake. But oh, Fuentes fumbles and it's going to be Pioneer. Well, no. It will be Pioneers football. So a fumble That's by a Joe Fuentes and the Pioneers take over at the 45 yard line. 
So the first break of the evening, and with that, we'll take another break here. Ryan Jones comes underneath center for first and down for the Pioneers, and it is Mike Reddick, I think. Or check to Nick Armada with the carry. Reddick on the tackle for Geneseo. Reddick, the ball carrier. Well, I was right the first time to 24 of Mike Reddick with the carry with about a seven yard gain or make that maybe even eight yards. Gain of eight. So it should be about second down and two for the Pioneers. And they get a chance on an opportunity from a fumble from Fuentes. And so let's see what the Pioneers can do with it this time. Ryan Jones looks over the defense. It's handed off immediately to Nick Armetta, and it looks like he stopped right there. Or it could have been Terry Ford, I guess, with the carry. It was Terry Ford, number 40, with the carry. Stopped by Joe Kernan, it looks like. Bickley and Cougar on the tackle. So it's third down and two for the Pioneers as they try to keep this drive alive. On the play, third down. 20 seconds left here in the first quarter. Ryan Jones comes in the center. And he gets down to about, well, it should be enough for a first down as all he had to do was break that plane on the 45 and it looks like he indeed did that. Or maybe not, they might have, yes, first down is called by the officials. So first down and 10 for the Pioneers. James to the Tennessee 45 yard line, first and 10 for the Pioneers. Well, this may give them some confidence that they need it, and this could turn out to be a good game as the first quarter comes to an end with the Maple Leafs, the Geneseo Maple Leafs 7, the Almond Pioneers 0. We'll take a short break and be back for the start of the second quarter. As we're at the start of the second quarter with the Geneseo Maple Leafs leading it 7-0 over the Almond Pioneers. And Almond is moving. They are on the inside of the 50 at the 45. First and 10 for Ryan Jones and the rest of the squad as they bring him up. As it's given off immediately and taken down after about a four yard gain. For the first carry of the second Big quarter. So on the tackle for Geneseo for the ball carrier. Gain of one, second down, nine yards to go. Terry Ford with the carry number 40. So second down and nine to go. About a one yard gain here in this, the first series of the second quarter again. Not much running room for Terry Ford as he carries it one more time going off tackle. And that'll bring up third and seven. Third down seven yards to go. So now it's decision time for the Pioneers. Are they either gonna throw it up again or are they gonna try one of those plays that uh, maybe the Maple Leafs aren't expecting? Well, he does drop back. Looks downfield, the middle of the field is open and he will have a first down. Ryan Jones with the carry, picking up about eight yards it looks field. like and it'll be first and 10 for the Pioneers. The As on the other side of the field, I don't know if you can hear him or not, but the uh, Pioneer fans are clapping big time over there. So uh, maybe those give them the confidence the that they need now to maybe punch this ball run. into the end zone and make this a ball game. Chris Knott comes into the ball game, number five. 
with the play, and Jones faked it, and he is going to be surrounded by Geneseo players and take it down for about a one-yard loss. So that play didn't work as well as what they had hoped for. Fuentes, Kukuru, and Kernan on the tackle. Jones, the ball carrier. So it'll be a second down and 10. No gain on the play, I guess they'll call it no gain. As Chris Knock goes back out of the game, and... With the call is the 85 of Tyler Warlop. Jones, oh, immediate hit and tackle by number 84. Unbelievable. He broke right through James Mickley and brought down Jones for about a three yard loss. So that'll make it third down and 13 here for the Pioneers as they're finding some of the plays aren't working as well as they would like to. Well, this definitely brings up a passing play. However, the last time they left the middle of the field wide open for Jones. It looks like he's got a pretty good set of wheels on that number nine as he takes pass. Good blocking up front, but this is gonna go nowhere and he'll lose another yard. That'd be Mike Reddick, number 24, as he takes a short pass from Jones, but immediately dropped by a host of Geneseo players. So fourth down and 15, and they'll have to punt it away. Dropping back is 40 Fuentes, along with Jared Putman, number 22. Bad to kick is Nick Armada. It's a short kick, and he just barely gets it away. It's a short kick off the side of his foot, but it's gonna get a Pioneer's bounce down to with inside the 20, down to about the 17. So it'll be first and 10 for the Maple Leafs from the 17-yard line. So a pretty short pump, but it got a nice happy roll for the Pioneers. And once again, so can the defense stiffen here and stop the Maple Leafs this trip down? The only thing that stopped them so far is a fumble by Fuentes on their second series. Kyle Reed once again comes underneath center. He spins up to the middle, he's breaking loose and he'll be brought down after about a 13 yard gain up to the 32 yard line. So a good run by Kyle Reed. Kind of a trick play. I just don't think they were expecting that uh, Kyle Reed would take that ball and run with it. He's just handed it off to, to this point. So it kind of surprised them a little bit. And that uh, to keep it in the back of their minds as well. Every one of these players looks like they can really run with the ball. As Fontes goes into motion, Reed's hands off to It looks like Josh Rowald, number 35, and he's brought down after about a six yard gain. Gain of eight, second down, two yards to go. Or it looks like even eight yard gain, I guess it is now officially, as the ball is up at the 40 yard line. So pretty impressive looking group of players. Reed and company as it's given off to Jared Putnam, and he'll get a first down up to about the 48-yard line. Putnam, Armetta, on the tackle Armetta the with the tackle, and he is an all-purpose player, that is first for sure. Nick Armetta with the tackle, he punts it, he runs with it, I'm sure he even catches it. One of those special players that every team certainly likes to have. But not before they got a first down, and given this time again to the 35 of Josh Rowald as he pounds it down Josh for Rowald about a seven eight. yard gain. Down to about the 42 yard line. Armetta on the tackle for the Pioneers. Very interesting field here. They don't have any uh, yard markers, so you gotta kinda guess as to what the yardage is or where they are within there. They got the five yarders, but none of the one yard increments. So if I'm a little bit off, please excuse me. Well, once underneath it, Kyle Reed comes under center, gives it off to, oh, and he slips and falls, and he'll lose a couple on that one. 
and that is Jared Putman. Jared Putman, the ball carrier. Trimble on the tackle. Trimble with the tackle. So it's third down and one here for the Leafs with 6-12 remaining in the second quarter. Well, is it gonna be that famous old quarterback sneak or is he gonna hand it off to one of those power backs right behind him? Putman comes in motion, it's given off to Josh Rowald and he, he picks up the first down. So first and 10 for the Leafs after about a two yard gain. So Orwell is keeping himself busy here this evening. Number 35. As it's first and 10 at the 39 for the lease. Fuentes goes in motion. Oh, and it's broken tackle by Kyle Reed. He's down to the 20. Inside the 20, down to about the 16. So about a 15 Kyle yard gain for Kyle Reed as he tucked it on his hip. And the Pioneers didn't pick it up. And on, this kid can really Not fly down, once he gets out to the outside. So first and 10 for the Leafs. So first and 10 down there at the 16, 17 yard line it looks like. As it looks like we may have a timeout by the Alleman team, the Pioneers. With that, we'll take another break. We are Family Ties Productions. Glad you're with us here this evening. Well, we'll get set to go here for the Leafs, they got first and 10 from the 17. And I'll tell you what, I didn't catch who was had the ball that time. Let's Jeff see. Jeff Lennis, the ball carrier. Jeff Lennis. Picked up by our meta. Another new player for the Leafs. As our meta with another tackle. Seven, second down, three yards to go. Second down and seven. for the Leafs as they're in their power back formation. And right up the middle, and it looks very little gain on that one as a whole gang of Pioneers brings them down immediately. Jeff Lennis, the ball carrier. Jeff Lennis with the uh, carry and tackled by Ford, it looks like. First and 10, first and goal for the however, for the Leafs, a first and goal at the six yard line. The Kyle Reed looking over the defense once again, takes a quick snap, given off and stopped almost immediately at about probably no gain if he got eight at all, maybe a yard for Jared Pumpman, Jared number 22. Tackle by Ford. Tackle again by Mr. Ford yeah, as he brings down. down. He's been very busy here this evening. Terry Ford, number 40. So it's second and goal as he given off to Fuentes. He's down, touchdown for the Leafs. As he grounded out, Joe Fuentes, number 40. So now 13 to zero in favor of the Geneseo Maple Leafs. As Kyle Wickwire comes out to attempt the extra point. He's number 14. He's a lefty, but I got a lot of leg, and that one looks good as well. No good, they are saying. 
So it must have been a wide right on that one. Looked good from my vantage point, but apparently it must have gone right of the goalpost. It is now 13 for the Maple Leafs. The Pioneers, zero. Okay. And back once again, Wickwire to kick it off. Mike Wood back to receive. And it's a pretty good kick as it comes down to about the eight yard line. And he's met there after about oh, a 12 yard gain up to about the 25 yard line. So first and 10 Pioneers. And well, it looks like it's gonna be about at the 26. Everhart on the initial tackle for Tennessee. So let's see what the Pioneers can do now as they're down 13 to nothing here as time is running out in the first half first at the 335 the mark. Ryan Jones once again comes underneath center, cans it off immediately and a good break. Oh, and hit, I tell you, I thought he had a great gap. And that being Mike Reddick, number 24, but was he ever hammered immediately? By the 41 of Justin Putman. So Justin Putman with a vicious hit. As Fuentes a little Justin bit shaken Putman up, number no 40. And uh, Fuentes might be coming off the field. Well, I'm not sure. There seems to be a mix up here of sorts. And to replace him is the 48 of Brad Heller. So Fuente's a little bit shaken up. And he comes off the field for a breather. But second down and five for Jones as he looks over the defense. And I think that uh, the Pioneers might have jumped. Looked like one of the offensive linemen saw the defensive guy kind of jump and he jumped at the same time. So tough break for the Pioneers or they would have probably had themselves a first and 10. And indeed it was. One of the offensive linemen just jumping a little bit and offensive procedure call against them. So now it'll be second down. Well, I'm not exactly sure. From my standpoint, it looks like it's gonna be about second down and 10. So are they gonna throw it up? Are they looking downfield and just short for Chris Knock, number five, as it went uh, down by his feet. So it'll been up a little bit, he was open, but just couldn't quite get in the ball. So it'll be third down and 10. And I think they gotta be kind of safe in this territory uh, with 235 remaining. They certainly don't wanna make any mistakes and give the ball over to the Leafs with real good field position, which is exactly what they would have down here at about the 26 yard line. So Ryan Jones with the decision to make, is he gonna hand it off or is he gonna go back once again and do a safe pass and a little mix up as he hands it off, but it's gonna go pretty much nowhere. Proceed on the tackle for Tennessee. As it was handed off to with the ball Mike player. Wood, number 21. Gain of a yard, fourth down, nine yards to go. So it'll be fourth down and nine and uh, we'll have to punt one more time. Heller and Putnam need to receive for Geneseo. Back to kick it is Nick Armetta. Ooh, it almost got it. Again, it goes out at about, looks like just past the 50 yard line at about. It goes out of bounds. Well, let's see. <laughs> the crowd doesn't like this spot. They think it should be a lot farther up the field, but we'll put it at about the 47 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Leafs. Ball was marked out of bounds at the Geneseo 46 yard line, first and 10 for the Maple Leafs. So Kyle Reed, once again comes underneath center. And are they gonna try to grind it in or try for a quick strike? I don't know if the Leafs are capable of that quick strike through the air. Well, we're gonna find out as Kyle Reed goes around and passes out and almost intercepted by Wood. 
or Chris Knock, I should say, number five. Pretty close to an interception. Nice uh, break on the ball by that young man. Chris Knock is uh, certainly the Leaf player was open and Knock made a great break to knock that ball away. So that'll make it second down and 10 here with 148 remaining in the first half. The Geneseo Maple Leafs leading it 13 to zero over the Alleman and Pioneers. Well, Fuentes goes into motion, so he's definitely okay. And a pass once again, out to Fuentes. It'll be a first down as he gets down to about the 40 yard line. And oh, I thought he was gonna try to get out of bounds. And he didn't, so that might have been a mistake on his part as he should have tried to get that ball out of bounds. But with the first down, that does stop the clock. So first down for the Leafs with 139 remaining. Timeout now for the Geneseo Maple Leafs and we'll take a break. Hey, we're sponsored tonight by The Sports Connection, your monthly sports publication. So first down and 10, let's see what happens as we're back. Kyle Reed uh, once again looks underneath center as Putman comes into motion. He comes out to the right side, it's gonna be a run and he is going to be taken down for a loss as the Pioneers were not gonna be denied on that no, one, and they stopped him. Time out, Geneseo. As we don't have a name on the number 88 who brought him down, so that's a tough break. A good tackle by that young man. So time out once again. Well, let's see what happens here, 128 to go. It's second down and 12 for the Leafs. As they're stopped in, and it's a reverse to the 12, and he will be stopped again. So I'll tell you what, the Pioneers all of a sudden now getting pretty tough as Nathan Raschke with the carry hey, Raschke brought down for a two yard loss. Wood on the tackle. Wood, on the tackle. Wood with the tackle once again, and this guy is somebody to watch as uh, he has been all over the field. It's third down and 12, and this will definitely be a pass. And it comes up, oh, and it's dropped. Unbelievable, Nathan Raschke completely wide open and he probably would have scored on that, but he just took his eyes off the ball a little bit too early and dropped it. That brings up a fourth and 12 and they'll have to punt it away with only 54 seconds here left in the first half. So they go back for the punt return. And it is our meta back there. As another timeout comes out for the Leafs timeout as Tennessee their formation out. didn't quite get everything straightened around. So another timeout. We'll take a short break. Be back, back with you. As we get set to go once again, Dave Mapes, number 87, will punt it away. Back to Our meta back there and the ball is away. And it's gonna go down to, and it'll be a touchback. So start on the 20 yard line. 44 seconds to go for the Pioneers here in the first half. The end zone for a touchback. We'll see first what happens. The Pioneers at their own 20 yard line. First and 10 at the 20 yard line for the Pioneers. I think they're just gonna be safe. as the play comes in for Jones, but uh, I'm pretty sure that they'll probably just kneel it down and go into the locker room and regroup and come out in the second half. And of course they do exactly the opposite. <laughs> as it's given off to Terry Ford and that will be second down in about six Four yards as a four yard Ford game for Terry Ford. Okay, five, second out, five yards to go. As it looks like it actually was a five yard gain. One more yard than I thought it was. 
So second out and five for the Pioneers as he comes up to the ball. Jones, he'll give off immediately to, it looks like Nick Armada, he's up to about the 40 yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 for the Pioneers with second and seconds left. And immediate timeout, was it taken? I'm not sure if I saw that or not. Well, with seven seconds left, I guess indeed they did take a timeout. Yes, they did. Timeout for Time out the Pioneers, on. and we'll be back after these short messages. Well, we're getting set to go. Seven seconds left. As Jones comes underneath center, he drops back. He's looking downfield, out to the right side. He's on the run, and he'll be brought down for a loss, and that'll do it for the first half. The Geneseo Maple Leafs, 13. The Alleman Pioneers, zero. Hey, we are the Family Ties Productions team, and we'll be back after this halftime report. As we get set to go for the second half of this battle between the Geneseo Maple Leafs and the Alleman Pioneers, and we're underway. As it comes down to the 12, and that is Nathan Ratsky. And he brings it back up to about, well, 35 yard line, make that the 34 yard, first and 10 for the Leafs. On the 34 yard line, very early here at 11.53 in the second half. First and 10 for the Maple Leafs at their own 34 yard line. It still remains Kyle Reed in there at quarterback as he hands off immediately and looks like that might've been a 35 of Josh Rowald. And brought down after about a three yard gain. And I guess it was Joe Kernan at 37. I got that missed up with the 35. So my apologies go out to the Kernan family. So second down and four, second down, six, yards to go. six for the Leafs. As they're once again in a full backfoiled set. And a hard count there, and it's a 20. Well, check that, it's Fuentes with the carry. Brought down. Joe Fuentes, the ball carrier. Armetta on the tackle. With, by Armetta on the tackle, number 34. The first and 10. First and 10 for the Maple Leafs. Up at the 46 yard line. Yard line. As Kern goes in motion, he does get the ball. The 22 of Jared Putman as he comes around right in, and he just barely makes the corner, but taken out of Jared bounds Putman there. The ball carrier, run out of bounds by Knock. By Chris Knock, number five. And he gains, well, it looks like about, let's call it a seven yard gain. Gains Make that second down line. and three. 46 yard line, second down, three yards to go. So Reed once again comes underneath center as Fuentes goes in motion. Reed hangs on to the ball, pitches out to Fuentes. Fuentes with a wide open field. He's down to the 30, then the 20, and he'll be taken out at about the 17 yard line. Brought, kicked out of bounds by Chris Knock, number five, and he did save a touchdown as it looked like Fuentes was on his way. 
So another super run by Joe Fuentes, and if it went to Ben for Chris Knock, it would have been another touchdown for First the Leafs. For the Maple Leafs at the Allman 20 yard line. Right at the 20 yard line, it looks like. I guessed it to be the 17. Goes to prove how good my eyes are. <laughs> but let's see what happens here. First down and 10, and given to the 22 of Jared Putman. And he's brought down by a host of pioneers, including Wood and Bowden along with, well, the 88 once again, but we're gonna say maybe that might be Jeff Jacobs. No gain on the play, second down. So no gain, second down and 10 for the Leafs. Here early in the third period, 10-12 to go, with the Leafs leading it 13 to nothing at this stage. Kyle Reed, the quarterback. Pitches out to Fuentes. Fuentes is going to be taken down immediately Armeta. by Armetta. Nick Armetta once ball. again as he broke through the line and got there in a hurry. He'll be dropped for a loss of two. Third down and two, 12, third down 12 for the Leafs. So a great defensive stop or play there, I should say, by Nick Armetta. And once again, he's all over the field. An outstanding athlete and showing it here this evening. Well, Reed's going back for the pass. One of the field this night. He loops it out there for it's going to be a touchdown for Nathan Rashke as he got by. The kid that's been everywhere, Chris Knock, just not quite tall enough, and Nick Rashke brings it in. Touchdown for the Leafs. A 20 yard TD pass or strike to Nathan Rashke. And that extends the score by 19 to nothing right at this moment. As Kyle Wickrier comes in to attempt the extra point. <laughs> the lefty waits for the snap. It's a little bit off, but it's down and it is good. So now the score is the home team, the Maple Leafs 20, the visiting Pioneers zero. And we'll take our first break of the second half. Prior to kick off for Geneseo. Wickwire getting set to go with the kick as Armetta sits back there at about the five yard line waiting for it to come down. It comes down to and I didn't get the number. We'll pick that up for you. It is Nick Armetta with bringing it down and he takes it back to about the 25 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Pioneers at this point. And they're down by a bunch right now. So they're gonna have to do some different things here in this third quarter to try to get him up on top a little bit as we got an injury timeout and we'll take another quick break and we'll be back with you. As Nick Amarta had a cramp in his leg and he takes off the field for one play as they are gonna go get about maybe a one yard gain on that one. And at that point they're brought down by a host of Geneseo players. So it'll be second down and nine for the Pioneers here at the 852 mark in the third quarter. Redding the ball carrier. Redding was the ball carrier, number 24 on that one. As Jones comes underneath center, he pitches it, or checks it, hands it off immediately to it looks like Terry Ford, number 40. And he gains about three yards. So make that third down and seven for the Pioneers. Around the play for the ball carrier. Third down, six yards to go. As both teams are very well coached, very few penalties in this game. And that's just a good sign of good coaching. And well, with that, the uh, Maple Leafs were looking for that Both and they the just back. buried Ryan Jones for about a three yard loss. That'll bring up fourth down and eight and the Pioneers will have to punt. Yeah. 
Fourth down, eight yards to go. So Ryan Jones goes back into punt formation. And he just barely gets the kick away. It comes down at about, takes a pioneer bounce. Down to inside the 35, down to about the 32. So it'll be first and 10 for the Maple Leafs at that point. First and 10 for the Maple Leafs. So it's what looked like a, yeah, not a very good punt. Turns out to be a pretty good one indeed. And from that standpoint, it still remains Kyle Reed at quarterback as they haven't taken out the first string at all here in the second half. Normally at this time, I think first two games they have already. Uh, Joe Fuentes also in there, along with Jared Putman, number 22. Fuentes goes in motion, gets it off to, and I didn't see the short man as he is hit immediately and then driven back. And I didn't see who hit him, but boy, what a hit it was indeed. Tackle by Wood, gain of one, second down. And nine once yards again, Wood with the tackle. And he has been all over the field as well. So it's second down and nine for the Leafs. As it's pitched out to the 22 of Jared Putman, and he'll be taken down for about no gain, and maybe even a one-yard loss. Trimble on the tackle. As Trimble gets him number 40. <laughs> oh, that's Terry Ford, so I'm not exactly sure who this announcer was calling, but uh, that was Terry Ford on the tackle number 40. Third down and 10 for the Leafs. As Kyle Reed once again comes up underneath center. As Mickley once again goes in motion, gets set. He fades off to the right and he's hit immediately and it's gonna be, oh, almost intercepted by Chris Knock, but once again, just barely comes out of his hands or it would have been a nice interception by that young man. That'll bring up fourth and 10 for the, Mace, the Leafs and they'll have to punt it away to the Alleman Pioneers. So good stop by the Pioneers. As Mike Woods is going to go back or check that, it'll be Chris Knock back to receive this punt. And he kicks it away with a nice punt. It comes down at about the 22 yard line. He comes up to the 30, to the 35, to the 36, and he'll be taken out at the 37 yard line. So a 17 yard return Chris Knock on by Chris Knock. Knock. Nice Allman. return. And it'll be a first and 10 from that spot. We do have a flag, however. as it looks like it might be going against the Pioneers. As the officials huddle together, they're at about the 40 yard line. And let's wait for the official call, block below the knees. Well, a personal foul, uh, two fouls as a matter of fact, so I think they're gonna be punting it all over again. A chop block and a clip, so a defensive one and an offensive one, kind of an odd thing to see all at one time and uh, However, they are talking to the Pioneers. I don't really understand. Maybe a double foul by the Geneseo team. So let's see what the Pioneers decide here. As one of the co-captains, Jeff Snyder, number 75, decides what they're going to do. So a chop block is Decline, clipping. I'm not exactly sure what happened on that. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why one team would decline a penalty and the other one would take the penalty against them. I don't quite understand that one. I guess that's gonna remain a mystery. <laughs> As everybody he across here is kind of uh, shaking her heads on this one, but uh, well, the clipping penalty. 
apparently it was maybe a double penalty against the Pioneers, and one was declined and the other was taken. That first probably apparently what happened. So, first and ten at the 17 for the Pioneers. We get go set to go here with 5:49 left in the third period, with the Geneseo Maple Leafs leading it 20 to zero over the Alleman Pioneers. Jones comes underneath center to take the hike. He comes out to the left side and he's gonna gain about four yards. So it'll be second down and four as he's brought down there by Tony Kirkaroo, it looks like. Number 63. Gain of three, second down, seven yards to go. As Craig Ledbetter comes in with the play, he splits out to the far right. Jones looks over the defense, and he gives it off immediately up the middle, and he's brought down after about a one-yard gain, make that a two-yard gain. On the tackle for Geneseo. Four. With the ball carrier. Third down, four yards. Mike Wood to carry that time, number 21. So it'll be a third down and four for the Pioneers here, and they need a first down in the worst way and let's see what happens with Jones. As you go back for the pass, he pitches it out to, and well, it's not gonna make any difference as he's not gonna get that first yard out. He just gets barely over the 25, and that'll bring up fourth down. Mike Third Reddick with the carrier. And that'll bring up fourth down and two for the Pioneers as they'll have to Reddick kick it away. They're career. way too deep fourth down, two yards to go. in their own area. And uh, once again, going back for the pump will be Fuentes, number 40. And number 22, Fuentes Jared and Pupman. For as they wake Mike Woods' kick. Or Chris Knox' kick, I should say. And it's going to be about a 25 yard kick. Another good bounce, and a go out at about right at the 50 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Geneseo team. As we have 3.59 left here in the third corner. Quarter, not corner, but quarter. And it looks like we have a... Ball goes out of bounds at the 50. Well, I guess we don't have a timeout. I thought we did there for a second, but we don't. So let's see what happens now. Do we still have the same quarterback in there? Yeah, it's still Reed, number 11, at quarterback. A full backfield as number... Putnam once again comes around in motion, given off up the middle and stopped after about a five yard gain, so a good run. Joe Kernan, the ball carrier. For Joe Kernan, number 37. Tackled and tackled by Wood, number 40. Gain of five, second down, five yards to go. Well, Terry Ford is number 40, so there we go again. So somebody's got the names wrong, but that's okay. We'll try to keep it straight up here. So Reed once again goes underneath center, looks over, takes the hike and gives it to Fuentes up the middle. He'll have the first down as he gets inside the 40 yard line down to about the 37. And brought down there. So Fuentes the ball carrier, catch it on the tackle. By Adam Paget, number 52. Gains to the Allman 39 yard line, first and 10 for the Maple Leafs. So it's first and 10 for the Maple Leafs on the Alleman 39 yard line. Given off to Fuentes and he's down to inside, the 35 down to about the 34. Brought down there by, once again it looks like, Adam Padgett number 52. So Adam Padgett all of a sudden starting to assert himself a little bit here in the third period. 2.23 to go here in the third period. As Putnam was the carrier. Gain of five, second down, five yards. And it'll be second down and five. Well, they got the wishbone working right now. And it's given off to the up man, and he's going to be brought down immediately. 
That was Joe Kernan, number 37, brought down by a host of Pioneers. A good stop by the Pioneers that time by. Joe Kernan, the ball carrier. Missile tackle by Reddick. No gain on the play, third down. No five gain. To go. And it still remain third down and five. Well, I'll tell you what, the stands couldn't be any more packed than they are here this evening on the home side. And quite a turnout by the Geneseo fans here in this nice little town of about, I think, about 5,000 people. Reed will pitch it out to, it looks like, Putnam leads down to the 5 to 10. Touchdown! Touchdown, Geneseo, number 22, Jared The 35-yard run by Jared Putman as it was pitched out from Reed, and he broke one little move, and away he went. And another touchdown for the General Seal Maple Leafs, leading it now 26 to nothing over the Pioneers. And they don't need a lot of hold, they just need a little bitty one and away they are go. Kyle Wickwire once again comes out on the field to try to kick it through, the left footed kicker. As he awaits the snap, the ball comes down, it's up, and it certainly looks good from my vantage point, and it is. 27 to zero. The Geneseo Maple Leafs over the Alleman Pioneers. With that, we'll take a short break and be back with you. Wickwire to kick off for Geneseo. Well, Wickwire getting set to kick it off to Armetta down at about the goal line, and it's underway to a line drive, and it's going to hit at about, oh, a mistake by the 27. Uh, Tom Langer is, I think I would have let that one go out of bounds, but unfortunately he tried to make a good thing out of something and it came off of his leg and goes out at, looks like the six yard line. So tough break. Is that you? Yes. I didn't know whose car it was. I'm thinking somebody's screwing with us. Should have known. So he gets set to go at the six yard line. First and 10 for the Pioneers as Jones comes underneath tackle. He gives off. Well, Jones keeps it. He's up to about. There's a fumble. And let's see. Uh, I don't think he fumbled. I think he got up to about the 17. Looks like Rashke with the tackle. It'll be second down and five, I guess, for the Pioneers. As it looked like to me, he broke it for longer than that, but that's where they're spotting it, so uh, that's what it'll be. Well, it was a little bit farther. It is second down and two. I thought I had a little bit better eyeballs than that. As cameraman Jess Medina looks back at me going, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> so second down and two for the Pioneers here as Jones once again looks over the defense. And that play is gonna go absolutely nowhere. Mr. John McAvoy, John McAvoy, please report to the concession stand. John McAvoy. And I didn't even get who carried that one, but it apparently didn't go anywhere. Third down and three, a loss of one yard. So it's third and three, and this is a very critical first down for the Pioneers, and we now have a timeout. At the end of, three at the end of the third quarter, I guess that's the, the reason for the timeout. Geneseo 27, the Pioneers 0. And with that, we'll take a break and be back with you. Well, as we get set to go for the first seconds of the fourth quarter with the Pioneers down by 27. And it's a pitch out to Terry Ford, and he's going to pick up about, eh, looks like about maybe four yards, so it'll be third down and three. As Swenties and Putnam with the tackle. So, uh, As a change are being brought out now, I think it might be a f pretty close to that first down yardage, and we'll see what we get here. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit short according to our calculation. Well, 
So much for the eyes of Jess Medina, as he said it was about a foot and a half short. <laughs> First down for all. And I thought it was for sure a first down. That was my guess, but he said it was a first foot and a half short. But uh, it is a first down for the Pioneers. And these kids are trying awfully hard. They just seem to be outmatched here this evening by a very, very potent Geneseo Maple Leafs team. And it's given off again to Terry Ford and he makes about a four yard gain up to about the 24 yard line. So second down That's and six. On the tackle for Geneseo, Ford the ball carrier. Gain of six. Is Justin Putman number 41 with the tackle. Well, certainly uh, running plays are good, but I think at this time, maybe they should try out the passing here. I don't know. I certainly don't know these kids as well as the coaches do, and maybe the running game is their best part of their game. As a quick handoff, and it gains maybe a yard, maybe no gain at all. Kukuru and Posin on the tackle for Geneseo. Kukuru with the tackle. And I didn't see who Ready even ran it. It looks like Reddick might have been the carrier. As we now got a different formation, two wide receivers coming out to the right side. Split back formation, and Jones goes back. He's got a blitz coming on, and it'll be incomplete as Tom Langer was completely taken out of that by the defense. It was probably a good thing that was overthrown, and maybe that's what Jones saw. He just overthrew it over the head of Langer, and now fourth and four, so the Pioneers will have to kick one more time. Going back to receive it is Jared Putman, and kicking it will be Jones, number nine. Jones to kick for Allman. Not too much of a rush, nice kick, as it's gonna fly about 20, 30 yards, and Putman will be taken down inside the 50 at about the 43. And from there, they'll take over, first and 10 for the Leafs. Well, the Pioneers have certainly put up a pretty hard-fought game here. Uh, first quarter was really well, good by the defense. But I think just a little bit too much talent on the Geneseo Maple Leafs team as they have one heck of a ground game. And just to prove they can pass it, they've had a touchdown pass already. But now they'll try to keep it on the ground as Putnam gets the ball once again. He breaks a tackle. He's down to about the 30, 25, and out at about the 21-yard line. So about a 17 yard gain for Putnam as I think might have been Chris Knock knock him out of bounds. So down at, well now they got the ball marked. I guess he didn't get down as far as I thought he had. He's down at about the 26. So make that about a 12 yard gain. But a first down just as well. Reed gets the ball, he'll hand it off to Fuentes, and Fuentes inside the 25, down to about the 21 yard line. So Fuentes, the ball carrier. And he's Bowden brought down at that point. Bowden and Jones bring them down at that point. Gain of five, second down, five yards to go. Second down and five for the Maple Leafs. 9.42 left here in the fourth corner. quarter. And one of these times, I'll be able to say that correctly. As Fuentes goes in motion, he'll get the pitch out. He comes around and he's into the side five. Touchdown! Joel Fuentes with, I think that's his second yeah, touchdown of the evening, but there is a flag down, however. So hold everything. Holding by the Maple Leafs. And so what was a touchdown run will be eliminated off of the scoreboard. So that beautiful run by Joe Fuentes, all for naught. 
And the crowd doesn't like that one single bit when their Maple Leafs get a penalty against them. We, of course, I didn't see it anyway, so, but the officials have been very, very, very few penalties, by the way, in this game. And once again, it just shows how good these coaches are coaching these young kids on the fundamentals of football. Well, that'll make it second down and 15 for the Leafs as Reed comes underneath center. With Putnam going in motion, he fades back to pass a long ways, passes out here to, and I don't even have the number, 84, but he breaks it free down to about the 20, to the 15, to the 5, to the 10, or the 10 to the 5, inside the 5 goes the 84 of James Mickley. And brought down there by Chris Knock, number 5. So if a running play doesn't do it, a passing play seems to be working as well for the Leafs at this stage of the game. First down and 10 at the seven yard line. 9.09 left on the clock. And we now have a official timeout or a timeout by the Pioneers. With that, hey, we are brought to you tonight by Internet Revealed your Quad Cities internet provider. Sign out, Oliver. Well, we're back. Oh, and immediately the flags are flying, and I didn't see who jumped. But by the looks of things, we have movement on the front line. That marching back five yards, so it'll make it... Uh, First down and goal at the 12 yard line. Well, one of the very few mistakes, I tell you, it's just a, uh, again, quite a game. There's a lot of movement and shifting going on to confuse the defense. As once again, Reed still is in the game. So this game is not over by any means. As Putnam gets the ball, he's around the corner. He's down to about the three yard line. So a nice nine yard gain by Putnam uh, as he got around right in. Taken out there, Here's it looks like by Jones. Here. Jones and Wood on the tackle. As Nathan Rashke comes in with the play, number 12, to see if they can't get this one in in the end zone. Second down and goal for the Second Leafs. Goal from the two. At the two yard line. Quick snap, given off to who else but Joe Fuente, and he scores. Joe Fuente with his second touchdown of the evening. Maple Leafs now up 33-0 to zero here in the fourth period with 8.17 left. Wickwire attempting out to attempt the kick for the extra point. Holders, Nathan Rashke, number 12. Comes back to him, it's down, it's up, and it's good. Touchdown by Kyle Wickwire. 34 to zero now in favor of the Maple Leafs over the Pioneers and time is running out. All right now, I think the Pioneers want to score for that pride factor, so I'm sure these kids are have to reach down deep. And let's see if they can't put something on the board. Wickwire to kick it off, back to receive it. Nick Armada, Armeda. Ball's in the air, pretty good one at that. It'll come down to at about the 10. Oh, it's fumbled there. Just knee it right down there and it'll be a touchback. So it'll be a touchback for the Pioneers. They'll bring it out to the 20 yard line. Out to the 20, first and 10 for the Pioneers. Unless you have complete control of the ball and it goes back into the end zone, it is a touchback from that point. So first and 10 for the Pioneers. Let's see what can happen here. They gotta reach down here for the pride factor and let's see if they can score. Jones and company as they come up to the line. With time running out, 8.14 left here in the fourth quarter. As he fades back, here comes a blitz. And it's gonna be, oh, in and out of the hands of Mike Reddick. 
So pretty good play, but Reddick just couldn't pull it in. So tough break for him. I'm sure they're just all thinking they want to get the ball and get going in a hurry to get downfield, but you got to pull that ball in first and bring it in with your eyes and then take off from that point on. Well, second down and 10 for the Pioneers as that play went incomplete. Ryan Jones once again looks over the defense. Looks over the back, oh, and tipped at the line. And we're gonna have a pass interference, but that might be called off because I think it was tipped at the line. Let's see what happens here as the refs will get together. Uh, pass interference for sure, but I think it might be called off because it was indeed tipped at the line. Well, maybe they didn't see it the way I saw it up here. And now the side judge comes in and I think he may be the one that see it, did indeed see that the ball was tipped as it came across the line. So let's see what happens here. No flag up indeed, that's the reason why. So it would have been indeed been in a uh, pass interference call but the ball was tipped at the line and once it is, all bets are off or all flags are off for that matter. So it's third and 10 for the Pioneers as Jones once again comes underneath center. And he'll pitch it out, oh it is fumbled, but down immediately there. So it'll be fourth and 10, or was it turned over? Well, it looks like it was turned over, so uh, unfortunately for the Pioneers, they make a crucial turnover here at the eight minute mark. It'll be first and 10 Kerner at the 10 yard line. Kerner with the fumble will make that the 13 yard line. So when it kind of unravels sometimes, it just kind of unravels, but that doesn't mean this isn't a good pioneer team. They're just being met by a pretty good Geneseo team. Fuentes comes in motion, but it's given off to the short man. Number Justin, Kemper, the Justin Kemper, and that's his first time into the game at this Four stage. So and Justin five, Kemper down, five yards to go. with a five yard run. And he was number 43. So the ball sits at about the Nine yard line, second down and five with 7.23 to go here for the Geneseo Maple Leafs. Reed is still the quarterback, goes off once again to Justin Krieger. And he'll take it down Justin to about Kemper the five the yard line and make that Justin Kemper. So third and two at the five yard line for the Alma squad as we're getting some of the substitutions in now. But it's still Kyle Reed and I'm kind of surprised that they're keeping their first string quarterback in there at the 637 spot with a 34 to nothing lead over the Pioneers. Well, in fact, we do have a new quarterback. As stopped at about the three yard line is Nick Eberhardt, number 10 comes in to take over the chores. Justin Putnam, the ball carrier. Justin Putnam with the carry. Tackle by Steele. So Nick e Eberhardt, the new First and goal QB. As time is running down here in the fourth quarter, 6.06 left for Nick Eberhardt and his squad as they're down at about the two yard line. First and goal. Hand it off to, and it's gonna be a touchdown for the Maple Leafs. Carried in by Brad Heller, number 48. So it's now 40 to zero in favor of the Maple Leafs. 
as Wickwire once again comes on to kick the extra point. Kyle Wickwire to attempt the point after touchdown. Nate Rashke to hold. Nate Rashke the holder. Ball snap. Up in the air, and it is good. Point after touchdown is good. So one more point added on to it. 41 to nothing in favor of the Geneseo Maple Leafs over the Alleman Pioneers. With that, we'll take a short break and we'll be back with you. See you with the for the Pioneers. As we get set to get this one kicked off, Wickwire setting up to kick it off at the 40 yard line. Ball is in the air. Nice kick. Comes down at about the 10 yard line. And it's picked up there and brought down immediately after about a 12 yard return by about three or four of the Maple Leafs. So first and 10 at the 22 yard line for Fires the Pioneers. The on the tackle for Geneseo. Linger on the return. Well, time certainly winding down. 5.35 last here in the fourth quarter for the Pioneers. First and 10 for the Pioneers. Could be their last chance at it, so let's see what they can do with this one. 73 yards away from pay dirt. And Corey Rothrock with New QB, number 27. And Dustin Putnam on the tackle. For As he comes field. around and makes about a two yard Lane gain, it looks like. Here. Second down and eight. Gain of two, second down, eight yards to go. So Corey Rothbard, probably the better runner of the two. And he'll give it off immediately to Mike Reddick for a small gain up to about the 27. Well, I'll make that the 26. I guess he only got about a one yard gain. Third down and seven down for seven the Pioneers. To Try to get right underneath the amplifier here or the, so that uh, maybe you can hear who made the tackles. Inside of five minutes down to almost the four minute mark. Third down and seven for the Pioneers. They need this third down conversion as it's given off. And he'll be stopped for a loss of about, well, it looks like about eight yards. On the tackle. And so that'll bring up fourth down. for the Pioneers and they'll have Fourth to kick down. it away one more time. That was Nick Souza with the carry, but unfortunately, the Maple Leafs are really keying off now on everything that they do and uh, he got tackled for a loss. Jones back for to kick it out away with the punt. Back at about his five yard line and the ball is on its way and tackled immediately there. So uh, they'll start right at the 50 yard line. Eddie Thurman on the As guess who Jones. made the tackle? Chris Knock, number five. First and 10 for the Maple Leafs at midfield. So Corey Rothrock, I'll check that. Nick Eberhardt will bring him underneath, come underneath center, quick snap, comes back to number 43. Justin Kemper with the carry and he picks up about three yards, make that four yards, second down and six. Justin Kemper, the ball carrier. Ford on the tackle for the Pioneers. Game of three, second down, seven yards to go. Terry Ford with the tackle. Yeah. So second down, I think it was, well, now they marked the ball back a little bit, so maybe it was a three yard gain. So second down and seven 
at the 47 yard line with 1.52 left on the clock. Eberhardt goes off immediately to the 21. Andy Thurman, the walk right Andy up. Thurman, and he almost broke it as he got down inside the 25, down to the 24 yard line. Michael on the tackle for the Pioneers. So a 22 yard gain for that young man and I looked like he was gonna break it but he didn't quite get the job done. Well, as they're gonna call it, they're just gonna knee it down here. They say enough's enough. And that's great sportsmanship by the Geneseo Maple Leafs team as we're inside right now, the one minute mark. And with one more kneel down, that'll call it the game. So uh, pretty good sportsmanship here by the Geneseo Maple Leafs as they could have probably ran up the score here. But uh, they decided just to kneel down and put this one into the record books. And it'll take as much time as they possibly can, get it inside that 30 second mark. And all they have to do now is kneel it down one more time and we'll have ourselves a ball game. So Eberhardt kneels it down. And we're down inside uh, 15 seconds, that'll do it. Here at Geneseo, with the score, the Geneseo Maple Leafs 41, the Allman Pioneers zero. Well, it's been a pretty good night of football watching one of the premier high school teams in Illinois, uh, showing why they are a four-time state champion, and once again, they did a great job. Just Medina on camera. I'm Jim Sainsbury. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again.